I always think I'm gonna be able to just swing into a parking spot with this truck, but it's a lot bigger than you think when you're on the inside. <laughs> that was like our fourth attempt at trying to go in straight. Yeah. Uh, and it just did not work, so. <laughs> good morning, adventurers. Good morning. That's right, we're back in the good old US of A. Ah, Chicago, oh to be specific. Back on the other side of the world. Yeah. But holy cow, we had an insane trip. You guys know we traveled to Vietnam and Bali for our group trips. We did take a little bit of vacation. We took about a week off in there, a week and a half. Yeah, yeah. so it was nice. But man, y'all, it is a lot colder here. <laughs> Whew, I do not like it. And yeah. it's not even winter. I mean, it's just barely fall. Yeah, but I'm enjoying it, all right? It's been too freaking hot. It was a very hot summer. It was hot over in Asia. Now it's nice and cool, baby. If you guys missed those videos, we did a tour of this awesome little bamboo hut that we were staying in just in this tiny little town in Bali. And we also brought you guys along on our group trip that we took with all of our attendees. It turned out great, had tons of fun. And we'll link to both those videos on the screen in the description so you can check them out. But as much fun as those trips were, we ended up racing back to the USA because we are really trying to get out to the east for the leaves changing, y'all. That was our big plan when we started this road trip. But as you can see behind us, we are right on time, you guys. We thought we were gonna miss it, but the leaves are just now changing. They look amazing all over Chicago. Oh yeah, and I have been checking the leaf trackers online. They have these for a lot of states. And in New York, the area we wanna go, which is Hudson Valley, one of our favorites, it's looking like in about a week or so, it should be peak season. Oh yeah. So I'm hoping we can just kind of get out there, not too much in a hurry. But before we do that, we're gonna make our way through our eighth state, baby. We're it knocking them eight, off the right? list. I yeah, think I think eight. it's eight. <laughs> Correct us if we're wrong, but I think it's eight. <laughs> but you've probably noticed we are back at our trailer. And the real question is, have any rats gotten into this thing? Are our plants still alive? I don't know how many spiders have infested it. <laughs> yeah. <Ooh. laughs> Let's go find out. smells all right in here. I don't see any spiders yet. Let's see if the power works. Oh it yeah. should work. <laughs> all right, no holes, <laughs> no standing water. The most important thing is when we opened the door, we didn't hear a bunch of critters scurrying. No. That's what I was really scared of. <gasps> oh my gosh, our plants look okay. Oh wow, they look just like how we left them. Wow. You know guys, we really thought that these were gonna be mostly dead. So we ended up putting these little bulbs in here that we filled with water and it slowly puts the water into the plant. And then we yeah. left them under our skylight thing here. That was a good idea. All right. All right. Nice job, I really thought that wasn't gonna work. <laughs> I, I did as well. Y'all, every like week while we were gone, I was just, I would just like wake up in the night and be like, our plants are gonna be dead. <laughs> and they're not, they're okay. I also put out one of these just in case there were fruit flies in here that we didn't know about or they were living in the drain. Looks like the only thing it caught was, where'd it go? Oh yeah, one little fly. One fly. Yeah, all right. Well, one less fly to deal with. One less fly. At least it's not like the travel beans. <laughs> I was kind of scared about coming back to some weird infestation as well, but sorry, Alex and Emma. <laughs> this parking lot is really tight squeeze, you guys. And uh, the cars have changed position since the last time we were here. So uh, the truck won't really fit in here and pull this out without scraping this car that's over here. So we're trying to figure out what to do. I think we might have to try to pull the trailer out by hand. <laughs> God. Moving? No. All right, pull it. Pull it. It's gotta work. It is kind of work. It's going right. Might be. That's not it, right? Oh, yeah. I'm so terrified of this trailer just getting away from us and rolling into some other car. <laughs> We're gonna give it a try. Eric's in the truck. I think we can squeeze the trailer out. I think we've maneuvered it enough, but we'll see. Fingers crossed. We did it! First try! Hooray! I was driving the truck and I heard her yelling just then and I was like, oh shit, what happened? <laughs> Oh my gosh. Our Chuck, Chuck, our truck is such a champ. It's not named Chuck. We, we haven't named it Maybe yet. Maybe it's Chuck the truck now forever. <laughs> our truck is a champion. He started up 
perfectly this yesterday well okay i'm just i don't know what i'm saying <laughs> yesterday we picked up the truck and it started first try even though we left it sitting for 30 days and we didn't have the tools to disconnect the battery <laughs> we were sure we would come back to a dead truck he's going very strong. much alive oh my baby. gosh very much alive hopefully ready to tow the big black series for a while so we're off to our eighth state but we just realized with all of the commotion I haven't booked us a campsite for tonight, <laughs> but Eric can sort that on the road. For now, we gotta make up some time and just get out there. I don't know where I'm going once I get out of the <laughs> gate, though. Cheers. Cheers to moving back into the trailer, y'all. <laughs> Got a little unpacking to do, you guys, but it's so interesting coming back to, what, I guess, our own home. We're also putting our diesel heater to the test down here, and it is working like a charm, y'all. Although, every time the pump goes on, the lights flicker, so it's like a strobe light in here. You guys probably can't tell, but it's like, bam, 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 It's bam. very <laughs> subtle, and it makes like a nice beat in the yeah, background, it so it's kind of like a rave in here. The world's quietest rave. The world's quietest rave. <laughs> we made it to yet another state. You know what that means? Do you know what that means? You know why I'm lifting up the bed? <laughs> map scratching! That's where we hide our map, because we got nowhere else to put it. <laughs> It's getting a little roughed up though, you guys. We've got a bunch of dings in it and stuff, you know, like look, a little bit of Texas is already revealed. And you already saw it probably, but it's got a little ripply because I think we left it out in the sun or the humidity or something like that. But it's still good, dang it. <laughs> it still works, it's fine. Yeah, and we are officially marking off our one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh state. Oh wait, we, we, we've forgotten Wisconsin too. Okay, so our seventh and eighth state. Yeah, I think, we, yeah, we are very confused about where we've been. <laughs> We're getting in full-on Halloween mode, y'all. <laughs> we came to the Halloween store. It's spooky season, so we'll go out exploring in a little bit. But first, we wanted to get into the spirit, the Halloween spirit. So we came to the spirit of Halloween store. <laughs> nice job. <laughs> I brought it full circle yeah. eventually. What do you guys think? <laughs> Can I pull it off? This is rad. <laughs> it's also a female's jacket. Oh, it is? Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. In the past, we've gone all out for our Halloween costumes. In fact, one time we spent like a month building these robot costumes and then went out on the streets of San Francisco. That was when we first started the channel. So if you want to scope out that video, we'll link to it somewhere on the screen. Oh, it was a wild time. We won some contests with those. Yeah, we did. One time we bought all of this army gear. We spray painted it green and then we dressed up like little army men, complete with the base and everything. We were doing photo shoots all over San Francisco. It was great. Yeah, I feel a little <laughs> bad just going so easy this yeah. year, but. We've, we've put in the time and the work other years, you know. Never mind, y'all. I think I have the skeleton outfit beat. <laughs> what do you think? Woohoo! This is over. Oh, sweet! Is this the new costume you got? Costume? How dare you! I declare that from henceforth I shall furthermore be known as Lord Eric. Alright, what the f*** are you talking about? Seriously, I got a certificate and everything. It says, Lord Eric. Mm -hmm. Wait, so does that mean that I'm Lady Allison? Why, yes. Yes, I suppose it does, m'lady. <laughs> Did I buy a weed? All right, give it a rest. The bush has had enough. <laughs> We got our certificate from Established Titles and we wanted to give them a huge shout out and a thank you, of course, for sponsoring today's video. It's actually based on a historical Scottish custom where landowners are referred to as 
lords and ladies. We got their title pack, which gives you one square foot of dedicated land with a unique plot number in Edelston, Scotland. So now we can legitimately include the title Lord or Lady on our credit cards, on plane tickets. You can even put it on your dating profile if you wanted to. Why not? One really cool thing is that they actually plant a tree with every order through charities like One Tree Planted and Trees for the Future. The first 200 people who purchase a title pack using our link are going to be within walking distance of our plot. So if we get enough people together, we can build our own endless adventure kingdom. A kingdom. This is the biggest sword in the land. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> Overcompensating much? It also makes a sweet last minute gift. I mean, who wouldn't want to become a lord or a lady? Established Titles is actually running an early Black Friday sale. Plus, if you use the code Endless Adventure, you get an additional 10% off. So you can go to establishedtitles.com slash Endless Adventure to get your own plot today. Sword is not included though. Yeah, you have sadly. to get that on your own. Sold separately. <laughs> All right, Halloween costume purchasing success. They yeah. fit, we look awesome, <laughs> but it's not quite Halloween yet. So uh, we're gonna put these away and put <laughs> our normal clothes back on. But there is something really fun for fall, y'all, that we're about to do. <laughs> we're going to a pumpkin patch. <laughs> nice job. <laughs> y'all, we found this incredible place called uh, Kircher Farms. They just have these epic apple orchards, these uh, pumpkin patches. We're gonna pick our own apples and pumpkins. You're really letting this Lord stuff get to your head, huh? <laughs> Onward! <laughs> Woohoo! Oh god! one I'm gonna go with. I think it's perfectly, <laughs> oh god! That really grossed me out. Were there bugs in it? I think so, oh man. That was yeah. enjoyable to watch. That was, look at it just like exploded on the ground. That was crazy. You distracted me. Finally made it to the pumpkin patch, and I think we found the one. Oh yeah. It's a beautiful specimen. Dude, tell me that's not the perfect pumpkin. Look at it. It's nice and round. It's got a beefy handle on it. Yeah, it's actually pretty light too. Yeah, it's not so it. bad. It passes the smack test. Yeah, nice. I found the world's cutest little pumpkin my just God. for you. <laughs> it's like bite sized. Yeah. Oh Anyways, my God. Guys, we found the mother load of tiny, adorable pumpkins. <laughs> well, pumpkins and gourds and things. Oh my God. We're going to have these all over the RV. <laughs> We're really going hard on fall. I'm really digging this. I yeah. did not expect to have this much fun today. Yeah. Can you tell that we're completely over summer? <laughs> <laughs> I was a little bit bitter the other day when we got back from Bali and it wasn't nope, 90 nope, degrees anywhere, but now I'm into it. I'm digging it. Next up, we came to the town of Elkhart, Indiana, which is actually known as the RV capital of the USA. And that is because they produce a ton of RVs here. As you drive around the area, you're just gonna see tons of different RV plants, huge brand names. And as a matter of fact, this is where Clementine was born. Right here yeah. in Elkhart. Back in 1975, she rolled off the coachman assembly line. Man, I'm so sad she's not here with us. One day yeah. we'll bring her here. Yeah. We have always wanted to pass through this town and the reason for that is because they have this RV Hall of Fame museum that has all kinds of RVs that span the ages and we've just been dying to go in and see all these amazing vehicles in one spot. We're extra excited because a lot of you guys have actually sent us photos from in here. Apparently there is a Clementine look-alike. We gotta go find her, gotta check it out and see her in all of her 70s glory. snap what do we have here we found it. holy cow look at this beauty whoa okay ours does not look this 
Yeah. <laughs> nice. It's so shiny. Yeah. And it's incredible to think that ours looked something like this at one point. Like, look how shiny. It's like the paint job is absolutely perfect. Oh, my God. And this wow. isn't broken in half? So this Coachman is a 1978, so it's a little bit younger than Clementine. And uh, different in a lot of key ways. Number one, it's a Ford up in the front. Ours is a Chevy. The paint job is like an upgraded version of ours and obviously it's very pristine. I don't know if it comes across on camera, but it is incredibly shiny, like brand new. And it says on the plaque there that the owner meticulously waxed it all the time. I don't think they have any lights on inside, sadly, but holy cow, y'all. This is eerily like Clementine when we first got her. This is what, it smells a lot better in here though. <laughs> Wow, everything is in such good condition. Oh Holy cow, it's gosh. like perfectly preserved. Oh, I really like this little seating area. Ours had the booth, but this is much classier. Yeah, for some reason the lights don't work in here. How does this work? We're pretty jealous of the cab in this one, y'all. Yeah, I very mean, nice. Ours is nice and retro, but you can't beat this cool, like the wooden details. And look at these gauges up here. They're just so neat in 70s. Oh. Yeah. And the carpet job is much better than ours. There's no loose wires hanging down no under there. It just. Also, the doghouse is so much smaller. Ours comes out well into the seating area. Yeah, so it's like all right here instead yeah. of deep in here. Our chairs are more comfortable, but I mean, these chairs are pretty freaking rad, you guys. Yeah, well, we did read that the previous owner replaced all the carpeting. They had everything reupholstered. They redid the ceiling. They redid a lot in here, still in the 70s style. I am a little sour that the lights are not on in here. I went up there and I pleaded with them, just plug it in, turn on the lights. And she was like, I don't know anything about that. <laughs> I mean, I want to see it. I want to show it off in all its glory, but you can't really see it. It's too dark. No, it just looks like a 70s horror flick. Yeah. <laughs> Man, this thing is beautiful under here for its age. Holy cow. <laughs> I mean, it's different because it's a Ford. So there's a lot of subtle differences, but it really doesn't look that much better than Clementine because we've kind of redone a lot of that stuff. This is the Star Streak 2, built in 1988. Apparently it was built to fit in a standard garage and it might win for the most ridiculous looking yeah. vehicle here. I mean, look at, <laughs> look at this design, it's insane. There's just- like, Look at the windshield, it's so impractical. I don't know, it's so weird. The inside is really bland, but the very front, the control panel is very cool. I would take this <laughs> and then somebody else can have that back there. So this right here apparently was the predecessor to the Airstream. This is what it once was, and I guess it was really modeled after like an aircraft type of style. I and mean, it almost looks like a plane. Wow, it's so shiny in real life. Yeah, it's from 1935, this one. Wow. How'd you like to go on a road trip driving this? <laughs> oh <laughs> Doesn't look very God. comfortable. I imagine the uh, shocks on this thing are maybe non-existent as well. <laughs> so that coupled with a wooden seat, holy moly. Yeah. I was kind of realizing that back in the day, the concept was basically, this is a covered wagon, you know, elevated. <laughs> <laughs> elevated. A lot of rich mahogany, or actually just yellow pine and poplar, but this is classy AF. This looks like a, an old train car or something. It's crazy. No one knows who built this. Some guys just found it in a barn and then took a year to restore it. Engine sat for 40 years and then fired right up. Meanwhile, ours sits for a day and <laughs> dies forever. <laughs> now this is the original pole behind setup. I can imagine someone just like riding around in this little hot rod. You pull up, you pull off your like little aviator goggles and your leather hat. And you go in here, you sit and you sip some whiskey. <laughs> this thing is incredible. I don't even know what half of these pe pedals and levers do, man. <laughs> all right, this is our new rig. <laughs> We're trading all the other rigs in. This is it. <laughs> We're going as old as humanly possible. Yeah. Y'all on our way out of the museum, we ran into Cindy and Jess, who hey are guys. some viewers. <laughs> and they are kind enough to show us around their Airstream since we weren't allowed to get into the one in there. Yeah, check this thing out. This yeah. is a 2020 and it's a freaking beaut. Holy cow. Wow, this one looks retro. Holy cow, this is incredible. Very cool. Wow, cool. Oh my god. Brand new Airstream. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of space in yeah. here. Look at the, the like aluminum ceiling. Uh -huh. It's so vintage looking. Well, that was super cool. That was so nice of them to come let us come on their rig. You know, yeah. we always feel a little weird because, you know, you're going into someone's kind of basically their <laughs> home, but they were really happy to have us uh, come yeah, see the inside. Thank you guys. Thanks again. It was an extension of the Hall of Fame Museum. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's true because they didn't really have any new Airstreams in there. No. By the way, a nice little tip. If you do come through this area, you can stay here overnight. Cindy and Dennis 
guys are staying here. There's a bunch of other people parked for the night. If we had known that, we probably would have stayed the night, but we are heading to a harvest host for the night, actually. Well, we have had such a fun time exploring northern Indiana, being back in the trailer, back in the road, back in the States. It's kind of surreal. We were just on the other side of the world, and now we're right back on the road again. Yeah, continued right where we left I off. I know. We are really digging the fall vibes out here, and our whole goal was to get out to the northeast to see it all in all of its glory, and I think next week, that is going to happen. I think we are right gonna, on time. Oh yeah. I think it's going to be perfect. I'm so excited. I'm going to drink so much apple cider and wear so many sweaters. All right. Goodbye adventurers. We'll see you on the road. <laughs>